Today we're gonna to show you how you can be more successful with your three wood, both from the tee and the fairway. Welcome back to Forest Varden, where we are talking about three woods or just fairway woods in general, how you can be more consistent with them when using them from the tee, the fairway, or even the rough. So in today's video, you are going to learn about the setup and how that's pretty important. You're also going to learn about how the delivery of the golf club to the ball is potentially even more important. And number three, you're going to learn how you can create that delivery and some real key checkpoints that you can use on the golf course to help you be more successful with these tricky clubs to use. And just before we get into that video, if you're new to my channel, you're not a subscriber, it is absolutely free. I'd love you to join our community. There is a clickable link in the description box down below. When you do give that a click, click the little bell icon as well, and that just means that you'll be notified of any videos that I upload. You won't miss any of the content. Right, let's get into this. Three woods, not easy to hit because they have got fairly low loft and a fairly long club shaft, a combination which generally makes them pretty tricky to use. So we've got this golf ball on the ground and we're going to talk predominantly about when we're hitting the ball from the ground because the way we're going to talk about this technique, it would work when the ball is slightly teed up as well so we don't have to change our golfing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to look at the golf club head itself and a little bit more about the design of the club and how that's pretty influential. So let's get a little closer to the club head, we can go through exactly what we mean. <laughs> the club head on any wood, which is kind of driver, fairway wood, even rescues, has got something called bulge and roll, where the, the hitting area is actually curved. So it's curved from top to bottom, and it's also curved from heel to toe. So the surface actually isn't flat. So although this club I've got here in my hands has got 15 degrees of loft, the bottom of the golf club has actually got a little bit less loft than that, and the top of the golf club has actually got a little bit more loft than that. And what we also find with you know any club that you hit really, if you don't hit the center of the golf club or the sweet spot, which is effectively just the center of gravity, the golf club will have a reaction. So if you can imagine that this golf club has got, let's say 15 degrees aloft, if my golf ball tends to hit from the bottom of the golf club, so down towards this first groove here, as that club makes contact, because that's lower than the center of gravity, that will actually cause the club to react in this fashion here, and it's going to deal off the club and that ball is going to launch much lower. If we manage to get the ball towards the top of the golf club, the golf club will actually rock back the other way and increase the loft. And that's one of the reasons why it's much easier to hit a three wood high off a tee peg than it is off the ground. So when the ball is on the ground, it's actually really easy to get that ball from too low in the golf club towards the bottom, the club rocks back and we get this ball launching very, very low. So we really have to make sure that when we hit the three wood, we're doing everything that we can to get that contact point center of the golf club or even a little bit higher than the center because that really increases the launch angle and gets us that little bit of trajectory that we want. So really, really key that we understand how the club head is designed and then which part of the golf club we really wanna try and use when hitting the three woods from the ground. So we now know that the bottom part of the golf club is generally gonna give us a lower launch angle, higher spin, and the top of the golf club is going to give us a higher launch angle and generally when we hit the ball from the ground a higher launch angle is better so when we have the golf ball up in our stance let's say it's off this lead heel potentially even further forward and we hear golfers saying things like is this like a driver do I hit it like a driver do I want to sweep the golf ball away what we'll often tend to get is the ball a long way forward the weight on the back leg and the golf club almost too shallow sometimes ascending or working upwards into the golf ball, very much like we would hit a driver. But what happens then is as that golf club is working upwards away from the ground, we're really only able to hit the bottom or the lowest part of the golf club. And what we've just said then is when we hit the lowest part of the golf club, the club twists this way, we get a launch which is very low, and we get a high spin. So we get this kind of very low shot which tends to spin. And those shots from the fairway, not really going to put you in trouble but they're not really the best way for you to use that golf club so we have to you've probably heard this before we have to trust the loft that's on the golf club. we have to get the contact point higher in the club face so i would like you to play this golf ball from just inside the lead heel so maybe two inches inside that lead heel so for a lot of you that might be a little bit less than you sorry less sorry might be less forward than you're normally used to playing it and what I'd really like you to do in your golf swing is two things. One, I'd like you to have a really good sensation 
even at setup is where you'd like to finish your golfing. So have in your mind an image of where you'd like to finish, which is going to be weight on the left, no weight on the trail side, belt buckle facing the target, chest facing the target, and very relaxed. Because very often when we see that clubby low loft, that's when we get a little bit stuck in this back leg and we don't transfer forward. The final thing I want you to really think about here is actually making contact with the ground after the golf ball. When the ball is on the ground, as it is here, we have to have a slightly descending blow, a negative attack angle, no matter what the club, long iron, hybrid, three wood, whatever that club is, we have to have a downward hit. It's going to be less down than it would be with a pitching wedge, but we have to have that downward hit. The golfers who struggle the most with the three woods are the golfers who have the ball too far forward. They lean back, they try and help the ball in the air. Those are the no-nos with three wood because you're gonna get that low strike. So I've got the ball probably less far forward than you might have it before. I've got a real good image in my head of where I want to be at the end of my golf swing, and I'm effectively going to be trying to take a divot after this golf ball. Okay, and you actually saw there, because of the time of year, winter, the ground is soft, I did actually take a little bit of a divot after that golf ball. But the ball flight was certainly wasn't low. It was actually a really nice high launch angle with a really nice peak height. And if I was hitting that into a green, that's perfect for me to stop it pretty quickly. And the reason the ball flight was high was not because I hit up on it. I actually hit down on it, but I actually got the ball from probably slightly above center. And what we said at the start was when you start to hit the ball above center, we start to get lots of good things happening. There's more loft on there. That's actually going to cause us like rocking back of the golf club to increase the launch angle. These are the good things that we want. And what you'll also appreciate there is if I'm hitting slightly downwards into the golf ball, that's going to be beneficial when it's thicker off because when there's thicker off, the last thing I want to do is have the golf club shallow and traveling through a foot to two feet of that rough before I get to the golf ball, which is potentially why so many golfers struggle with long clubs out of the rough. And also if that ball was teed up slightly, then I wouldn't really need to do anything different other than what I've just done in that particular swing. So the golf swing with a three wood or a five wood doesn't really change. There's nothing we do different in the back swing. We don't suddenly have a different take or a different downswing sequence, but it's really important that we understand how the setup is important. So understand that we have the right concept of what we're trying to do, which is actually hit slightly down and really commit to that follow through position and transfer that weight through. Because for many golfers, when they actually set the club on the ground, they see low loft and that just starts them on this kind of spiral of kind of, well, I must get back on it. I must have the weight here. I must swing up on it. And really those are the things that get you into trouble with the three wood. So attack angle, attack angle negative, really important. Ball position just inside the heel, really important. And making sure that you have that nice visual of where you want to finish the goal swing is really important because that helps you transfer your weight and it helps us do those things that we mentioned just a moment ago. So, really hope that helps. If you know someone who struggles with three wood, please share this video with them. Really good if you can share this with someone who you think it's going to help. And also just leave me a comment in the box below and give it a thumbs up if you did like this video. Really interested to hear your thoughts and get your feedback. Those thumbs up just means that you're liking the content, helps me produce the right kind of stuff for you going forwards. As always, thank you for watching and we shall hopefully see you back here again soon.